Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own custom YouTube channel background. So towards the end of this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a very, very simple YouTube background. The end result will look something like this. Basically, I'll just be teaching you guys how to make this sunburst effect and add it to your background. That's pretty much it. So this video isn't really aimed towards the design aspect. I'm not here to teach you guys how to design your YouTube channel background. Because if I did that, then everyone would have the same design and it wouldn't be unique anymore. So what I'm here to do is provide you guys with the templates for the YouTube backgrounds and teach you guys how to use them and pretty much just let you guys roam free and design them using your own creativity and talents. So then everyone will have their own individual and unique designs. So with that being said, I have made a folder with all the YouTube background templates inside of it. And you could download this folder with the link in the video description below. So I have that same folder on my desktop over here and let's double click on it and see what's inside. Inside I have five different items. One of them is just a sample background so you guys could use that freely. Uh, that has the starburst effect in the background. And then the other four are actual PSDs for YouTube background templates. Uh, let's take a look at them one by one. We have the closed boxes PSD where it's pretty much just two uh, big boxes with your content. And then we have the separate boxes PSD where it actually uh, points out everything one by one. So you have your header, your video area, um, your channel name, your channel info, and then your comments area. So everything is uh, separated. And then the other two are just the same thing except for partners. So let's take a look at the cl closed boxes partner. It just has a banner at the top and the same goes for the separate boxes partner. So let me take a look at my YouTube channel and I'll show you guys how to use whatever uh, different template that you want to use. Now let's pause this video and let's go to themes and colors. Let's click show advanced options and we have a couple options over here. Now if your wrapper transparency is set to none and your color palette transparency is set to none, then you will have these two big blocks. So as you can see, we have these two boxes with the main info. And if you have these two boxes, then you want to use the closed boxes template, obviously. Now, if you want to use a separate boxes template, then all you need to do is set the wrapper transparency to 100% and press save changes. And now we have everything separated. So as you can see, you have your name, your info, your comments, and your separate video, and then this header over here. And for that, you'd want to use a separate boxes PSD. And obviously, if you're a partner, you want to use the PSDs for the partner because they have your banner already highlighted at the top so you'll know exactly where your banner is going to go and how your background is going to look with your banner. So that's pretty much a quick overview of the different templates and how to use them. So with that being said, let's dive into how to actually uh, design your YouTube channel background. And I'll be teaching you guys how to make that simple sunburst effect. So let's open up Photoshop and now we have our choice between four different templates. If you're a partner, you want to choose the partner ones, obviously. And if you're not, you want to choose the ones meant for non-partners. So in this video, I'll just be using the closed boxes one, the simplest one, just so it can match the one I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. So let's close out everything else. And let's focus on the closed boxes PSD. The first thing we want to do is click on File New. Let's make a new image with a width of about 1,500 pixels and a height of about 1,500 pixels and press OK. And then next we want to add a gradient. So let's make sure we have our black to white foreground color selected and let's select our gradient tool and click at the bottom, hold shift and go all the way to the top and let go. So now we have this gradient. Next go to filter, distort and click on wave. And we want the type to be square and everything else to be the same. Press OK. And then let's go to filter, distort again, and click on polar coordinates. And then we want the default settings. Just press OK. And just like that, we already have our sunburst effect. So now let's click on our pointer tool. Let's click and drag. And let's put this to our background. So as you can see, we have a little problem here. We have this black in the sunburst effect. So all we need to do is change the blend mode from normal to screen. So let's uh, go down and click on screen. And just like that, the black disappears. So now we could position this in any way that we like. And just like that, we're done. As I said from the beginning of this video, it's a very, very simple effect. It looks nice, but what you could do is take any of these templates 
and use your creativity and your own talents and design something a lot better than this. Just This is just for a little example. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, I will see you guys later.